All right, everybody. So let's wrap this up with our last chapter, which is nightlife. Um, starting on page 208 to 212. This is a story of Rat Kylie. So we've had Rat Kylie throughout this whole book telling us funny things, relaying stories, as being this great guy um, with a big imagination. He loses it. He's losing it in this chapter. So nightlife. What is nightlife? Let's think about this, right? Um, they tell us on here exactly what nightlife is. It is when the platoon moves only at night. So they sleep during the day. They wake up at dusk. They put on their gear. They move out single file into the dark. And it is dark. Very dark. Pitch black. Can't see anything around you. Can't see anything. So the guys... As they're wandering through this darkness, they start to get worried that they're getting cut off because nobody's saying a word and everybody's walking quietly. And they think that they're alone and they're getting lost and they start to freak out. And they touch the people in front of them. Some of them rig up little wires to carry with them. Um, but this darkness and this lack of sleep, because it's also difficult to sleep in the heat, mugginess, daylight hours, um, it starts to get to rat. He cannot handle it. And after about five or six days of nightlife, he flips. And he starts talking and talking and talking and he cannot stop talking. And he is talking all about these mutant bugs that are in Vietnam. And there's bugs everywhere because of the napalm and because of all these other things. They're mutant and they're crawling at him and they're following him. And they're trying to find him. And he's scratching at himself and he's digging at himself and he's making cuts and scabs and he's pulling them off. And it's miserable. This guy is losing his mind. It's absolutely terrible. And... And to make things worse, as they're walking along at midnight, things seem to get even more wild, right? So they sleep during the day, they're up at night, they're walking along, they're exhausted. But around midnight, all the animals in the jungle wake up. And there is this hum, there's this hum in your ear, and they don't know what it is. They don't know if it's tree frogs or snakes or flying squirrels. They have no idea what it is, monkey chatter, right? There's this hum, this hum, and then it feels like they're walking through some thick blackness, some black protoplasm, he calls it, sort of like blood and flesh. Death is thick. It's bad. So just walking through the night, there's nothing really there, but that's what it feels like, right? Because it's also pretty humid in um, Vietnam. So rat's losing it. Bugs are a thing. But then he loses it even further. And he starts picturing people he sees as dead or with holes in them or without their heads. Or he starts picturing their livers, right? He's a medic. So he's dealt with this this whole time. But now it's just messing with his mind. He's, he's going crazy, guys. And he's seeing people dead. And then the worst part is when he starts to see his own body. He sees chunks of himself. And he's like, I cannot keep seeing myself dead. He says, this is insane. You know what this whole war is? This whole war has been a banquet. A banquet, a banquet like a, a cover dish dinner, right? Where you go and you get some food and some things. Yeah, he says, yeah. You know what it is? One big banquet. Meet, man. You and me, everybody, meet for the bugs. He says, that's what this whole war is. We're just a big banquet. And he wakes up the next morning and he shoots himself in the foot. Why did he shoot himself in the foot? Because if you're shot in the foot, you're too injured. You cannot march. You can't anywhere you can't be in battle he gets to go home so he shoots himself in the foot as a way to go home now if the powers that be were to find out that he did that on purpose he would probably be dishonorably discharged which would be a bad thing so lieutenant cross and everybody else is like listen we're going to tell everybody it was an accident just don't worry about it it's an accident it's an accident so why would they cover for him because they understand they understand He's losing his mind. I understand that Vietnam messes with your mind and makes you feel crazy. So they're going to cover for him. And they're talking to Rat as he's getting ready to leave. Because they're going to take him to Japan to bandage up his foot before they send him home and everything. And they're like, listen, I hear the nightlife's great in Japan. So they get to kind of play on the word nightlife again. Because nightlife is what made him go crazy. Um, their kind of nightlife, walking only at night. But the nightlife in Japan would be like bars, dancing, girls, women, all sorts of fun. Um, that's Rat Kylie's story. His sad demise, well, not demise, his downfall. He's not dead. Um, his downfall and um, his sent home. So no more bugs, hopefully, right?